When you ask for someone's sensitivity, you expect them to give you their in-game sensitivity, but you also want their DPI. How else are you going to copy their exact sense when your aim is bad? The same can be said about people who share their average FPS. So it's time to talk about it in a dedicated video. But before we dive in, do you want to improve at the game and fix all of your mistakes? Scope.gg, my sponsor for this video, is a specialized analytics platform. It is free to use, sign in through Steam or with Faceit, and Scope will auto-upload your CSGO demos to start analyzing them. Scope just released their latest feature for finding teammates. It uses an individual algorithm that analyzes your skills, goals, playstyles, and interests. Then, based Based on this data, it recommends other people who match your answers. The system is so advanced that suggested teammates might also be compatible enough to become your friends. And yes, Scope does not include toxic people. Once you're done answering questions, you can start adding people you find interesting and play together with them. Check out this feature in the video link down below. This is one of the most popular benchmarks in CSGO. If you want to give it a try, I'll provide a link down below. Once the benchmark is finished, we get the average FPS results. It is extremely popular in the community and it's often used to benchmark new settings or updates. There are other benchmarks as well, and they also give you the AVG FPS. Problem is, by only looking at the average, we are not getting the full story. Let's say this is the results of a benchmark. Now this is another benchmark, and even though one of them has anime mountains, it still gives us the same average. One of them is very different and very naughty. So here's our problem. Let's say you apply a new tweak, new settings, new socks, but nothing fun happens to your average. That's because you can't see the fun with just this value. So what we need to do is give this stuff a chance to shine. We can do this with a special tool. There are a couple, but I recommend Capframe X. It's user friendly. When CSGO is running, you can select the game, then choose a capture hotkey and capture time. The longer the capture, or the more times you do it, the more accurate your results get. You can also match the capture time with the CSGO benchmarks, just to keep it synced. Sam's benchmark script, which I've also made a video on, has a Dust2 benchmark at 44 seconds, so you can start the benchmark and capture it at the same time. When the benchmark's done, jump over to analysis. For now, just hide all the stats except for average FPS. It's fine if it doesn't match the in-game average, but it should end up pretty close if you synced with the benchmark. Start by adding the 1% low. This is another way of looking at your average FPS. A lot of tech YouTubers will use the 1% low, so it's a good starting point. We already know what this does. It takes all of your frames and gives you an average. This one, however, filters out the 1% slowest frames and gives you the average of those. Now, how is that useful? In video games, we have moments where the game runs silky smooth, but sometimes it runs like a potato. And oh, does it love running like a potato when there's players shooting at you. This is why looking at the average of the 1% slowest frames makes sense. It's really important. It lets us see under the hood. And this is something we can't see with just your average FPS. Now that we see the 1% low, we can finally understand the impact of the Steam solution from my previous video. This is nothing compared to this jump, and the results makes the game a lot more stable. So to be clear, I am not hating on CSGO benchmarks. The benchmarks offer a reliable roller coaster ride which is practically the same every time. That is exactly what it needs to be in order for us to confirm if tweaks or settings affect performance. But sometimes we can't see the change unless we look for more than just average FPS. And I hope this video helps you realize that. The new dream standard or norm would be to include 1% lows into each benchmark. I know a lot of you guys are lazy and don't want to mess with all this stuff just to check if no vid makes a difference, so I'll continue analyzing settings for you, just because I'm nice like that. Please like the video if you want to support my content, subscribe for more, stay awesome, and go bananas.